Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And when you live in a place that has no hills, uh, there's one advantage uh, because you can see some spectacular sunrise and sunset. Uh, every sunrise is unique uh, with different presentation of its beauty. And today's is no exception. As the sun gradually clears the horizon, it just turned the entire sky into gold color. I hope you enjoyed these photos. Okay, so let's go on to today's video. And when I do stir fry, I usually do not create a sauce in advance. Instead, I make the sauce as I go. Because I like to make adjustments as I cook, and uh, I can also change my mind along the way. Uh, recently, a viewer wrote to me, and she said uh, uh, she would like to make the sauce in advance. And she said, "How would you do that?" Uh, also, she would like to a relatively heavy sauce, as you will find in most uh, Chinese restaurants. Uh, so the other night, when I make this cashew chicken dish with green beans, uh, I decided I'm going to make this sauce in advance. Okay, so the first thing I Walk into the kitchen is that I went into the freezer and get about eight ounces of chicken that I have already prepped in advance. Uh, I put them in a bowl of uh, lukewarm water, and this will thaw them out in about ten minutes. Uh, using this chicken advance prepping system, you basically have, can have chicken any time you want. Next, I'm going to make the sauce. I'm going to start out with about one cup of water, and then in the water, I'm going to add three tablespoons of soy sauce.、Uh, and this will allow me to create a generous portion of sauce、uh, for the dish. And to create a teriyaki-like sauce,、uh, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. Since I'm creating this sauce entirely from scratch, I'm also going to add about quarter teaspoon of sesame oil. Now, after I did a quick taste test, I decided I wanted to be a little bit saltier, so I'm going to add another、uh, tablespoon of、uh, soy sauce. And this is part of my flavor chasing strategy. I continually making adjustment. I'm going to use cornstarch to thicken the sauce. I'm going to add one heaping. Tablespoon of cornstarch.、Uh, after doing another quick taste test, I decided I'm going to add a little bit more salt、uh, to make the sauce a little bit saltier. Okay, next I'm going to get out my masala daba, which I'm going to make the final adjustment. I'm going to add、uh, about one quarter teaspoon of paprika, one quarter teaspoon of ginger powder, and about half teaspoon of garlic powder. And、finally, to make the dish a little bit spicy, I'm going to add about quarter teaspoon of、uh, chili pepper flakes. And next, I go into the refrigerator, and in my advanced prepping, I find some carrot that have already been finely sliced, and I also find some French green beans that has been prepped. And by now, the chicken has been prepped, and I'm going to coat it with one tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm not going to season the chicken. Uh, because the, the sauce will provide flavor for the chickens、uh, when I cook the dish. Okay, after mixing the chicken with the cornstarch,、uh, I am ready to cook.、Uh, I'm going to cook this dish in my 14-inch cuisine standard steel wok.、Uh, I'm going to start out with approximately about a two tablespoon of canola oil. I'm going to heat up the wok、uh, until the oil start to gently. To smoke, and then I turn down the heat, and I let the oil to smoke gently for about 15 seconds. This is the time when the wok is being seasoned, and I call this method spot seasoning. And the third thing I'm going to do in cooking this dish is that I'm going to、uh, slightly fry the cashew.、Uh, I use the cashew that I normally、uh, use for snacking.、Uh, in the past, I have also used、uh, raw cashew. And by frying them briefly helps a lot because it helps seal the cashew, and this will keep them more crisp、uh, when you mix in with the final dish. And you will have the extra step.、Uh, besides, it only takes about a few seconds. 
As you notice that I have more oils in the wall, actually the oil came from the cashew. I mix by first start sautéing the carrot and then I add the green beans to the wok. I like the French green bean. They are more tender and they are easy to cook. I still fry the French green bean and the carrots uh, in the wok for about 3 to 4 minutes. How long you are going to stir fry depends on uh, how much you would like the texture. If you like them to be softer, then you stir fry them longer. Uh, stir frying the green bean, I always keep the heat of the stove at high. Uh, sometimes I will actually blanch um, the green bean first before I do the stir frying. Uh, they will give a different flavor and texture. However, most of the time, for the sake of efficiency, I will just stir fry them. Uh, I like the taste actually of both ways, so I alternate uh, in using these two techniques. Uh, by now, the green bean is pretty much done to the texture that I would like it, a little bit crispy. And I'm going to season the green beans and the carrots with a pinch of salt. Okay, I'm going to set the green bean and the carrots aside and next, I'm going to cook the chicken. And the primary reason that I cook the chicken separately are because it will give me better control of the texture of the chicken and it will prevent me from overcook the chicken. I'm not going to wash the wok and I'm going to use the amount of oil that is in the wok to cook the chicken. I'm going to do a quick shallow frying of the chicken by using a pair of tongs to lay out the chicken on the surface of the wok. I really like the Cucina 14 inch stainless steel wok because it has a large flat surface measure almost 9 inch across. And this is about the size of a small frying pan. And this is probably the reason that they often call this wok a wok pan. Now here you will find that a stainless steel wok spatula really comes in handy uh, used as a scraper uh, to scrape off anything that might have stuck to the bottom of the wok. Uh, this actually allow you to clean the wok as you cook. And by now the chicken is about 80 to 90 percent cook. I mix uh, add the sauce that I have prepared in advance. I mix it well and I pour it into the wok. At first glance, this seems like a lot of sauce. Uh, by this time, I turn off the heat. I constantly stir the contents and I use the remaining heat uh, to thicken the sauce. Uh, this cornstarch mixture will just create the right uh, consistency for the sauce, almost gravy-like. And next, I pour the green beans and carrots uh, to the wok. Uh, with a few quick mix, the dish is done. I took the dish off the stove. I put them on the kitchen counter and I added the cashew. Okay, a few quick mix, the dish is ready to be served and the total cook time is a little bit over 8 minutes. Uh, the sauce turned out to be just the right consistency uh, because it clings to the food ingredients. Uh, this gives the food ingredients a better flavor. So for those of you who would like to make your sauce ahead of time, this is one way to do it. Uh, this video is an example of my fast cooking system. With flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying and template based cooking, you have a lot of flexibility to create different types of dishes. If you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post a new video each day uh, to show how to use my fast cooking system to cook every day and to provide you with examples how to adopt my cooking system. I will see you tomorrow. Keep on cooking.